Happy Sunday morning, Preps fans. I'm Ashley Moore, and as some of us sit out this heat wave indoors this weekend, we decided to bring the heat this morning to the prep rally. Joining us now is Regis Jesuit grad and superstar hooper, Hannah Belibi. Hannah, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely great. Hannah, um, I mean, might as well just address the outfit. You have on an H on your shirt. Where are you headed? Um, I'm going to Harvard. Harvard University. One of the hardest schools in America to get into. And you will be going to play and also study. What are you studying at Harvard? Um, I'm going to be studying medicine. Medicine. Okay, okay. You've been going to and from Boston to go to school. Talk to me about how it's been just meeting the other Harvard basketball players and just finally getting at your head. I'm no longer a high school player. I'm headed to college. Um, it's been good. Like, just seeing, like, it's crazy, like, how much older they are and, like, how much more experience you can, like, just feel it. Um, so I definitely know it's going to be a jump and a transition going from high school to college, but I'm definitely really excited for it. Before your senior season, you were on the ESPN Top 100 list to preview the season. And then you went on to take your team to the state championship game. I want to talk about a specific game in that state tournament, the Final Four, okay? I was at the Final Four game, and y'all were down a bit to legend. I'm like, game's over, let me stop shooting. And you go on a 20-0 run in the fourth quarter, okay? Uh, you go up by six points after being down by 16 points, and it comes down to a final free throw with .3 seconds to go. Is that one of the most just gut-wrenching, stressful games you've ever played in? That was, like, the most, like, incredible game I've ever been a part of. Watch, like, I, we were in halftime, we were like, you know, guys, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I was like, let's try to keep hope, and all of a sudden, like, we just were coming back. We kept making baskets, getting stops. Um, that last point, it was Izzy, our, she's a sophomore now. I think of her as a freshman. This so. is y'all waiting on the yes. shot, yeah. I, my heart was pounding <laughs> out because we were squeezing each other so tight and she banked that one in and it was just like, every, like my heart, like there was a pressure release. It was like, yeah, it was a really good moment. I love that for y'all. Obviously, you know, y'all lost to Valor and State, you know, but to make it there, I mean, that's a big one. Um, but you've had a lot of accomplishments this season. There was one I was there for, and I was starstruck. Missy Franklin comes to Regis Jesuit to give out the annual Missy Franklin Award. You won it, and she personally handed you that award. Just what did you feel that day? And I heard it was a surprise. Yeah, I did it. They called me out of class. <laughs> they were like, only swimmers are supposed to be out of class. I was like, I'm not a swimmer. Like, I think you, had, you made a mistake. <laughs> Um, and I got there and I was like, is that, is that Missy Franklin? And they're like, yeah, you're going to be getting her award. And I was like, like, she was like, yeah, she was so down to earth and like kind about it. And it was, yeah, it was just really crazy. I mean, women's basketball is a hot topic right now. Okay. Very hot. You're kind of in the middle of it because you're seeing the, just the growth in the high school level. Now you're going to the major growth at the college level. Um, but your older sister kind of was a trailblazer for her. She was the first girl to dunk in a high school game in Colorado. And now you're kind of carrying that torch to see how far the game has gone from when you would go to Stanford and you would watch her play to now seeing where it is now. Just how impressed with that are you? And just where, can, where do you think it could go? Um, I say I'm definitely impressed. It was like, it's crazy like how much, like how many fans it's, it's garnered. Um, like going to her games in high school, there were a lot of fans because it was like, it was Fran Believe But like, if you go to other girls' high school games, not a lot of people show up, like college basketball games, same thing. But um, it kind of like, once it was getting heightened more and more, going to her like college games at Stanford, it was like the atmosphere was just like, they were excited. People were watching girls' college basketball more than men's. Um, and that's just like, I'm just so proud to see it because like we've been fighting for that kind of equality for a long time. So it's really, um, it's really exciting to see. We appreciate you so much for stopping by the prep rally as you head off to Harvard. Thank you for having me. Of, of course. course, of course, girl. <laughs> well, to see this full interview, just head over to 9news.com slash HSS. Philip Lindsay gave back to his hometown community. The Denver South star turned CU buff, who then played for the Broncos, returned to his old stomping grounds at All City Stadium to host a youth football camp. I'm not going to say weird because it's in my blood. I mean, my, my family for, for years, from my cousins and my, it's starting from my father and my uncle to my cousins to us. We just kind of have been growing up here in the DPS. So this is something that we kind of already, always was around, known about, and uh, just coming back here just feels like home. For a reminder, we can't be everywhere. So if you're ever out somewhere 
and see something you'd like featured on the Prep Rally, just send it over. That's all, folks. I'm Ashley Moore, and we'll see you next time right here on the Nine News Prep Rally.